Welcome to the Miami Herald Business Show. I'm Nyla Boudou. If you think last year was difficult for commercial real estate, 2010 may not be better. Vacancy rates for office space continued to climb in 2009. In fact, the Miami market vacancy rate jumped to more than 18% in 2009. That's 5% higher than the year before. Joining me now to provide us with some more insight on how things are likely to go this year is Rich Schutz. He's a senior vice president with Jones Lang LaSalle. Rich, thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me. So how do you think things are going to go in the commercial market this year? It's going to be a very interesting year. You know, we just obviously had a very tumultuous year in, in 2009, but 2010 is going to be uh, full, of, uh, full of interesting dynamics, and a lot of it is going to be see how this all plays out. What are you seeing with tenants um, right now? What are they asking for? Tenants are asking for everything that they can possibly get and more. And uh, we're seeing an unprecedented number of concessions, free rent, low rates, uh, high tenant improvement allowances. It's really, it's a tenant's market and it's a great opportunity for people to bring down their costs and, and uh, put themselves in a very favorable position. And is there a lot of concern on, about tenants, about financing, and about the sort of the stability of their landlords? They are. You know, it, we've been in the past, uh, it was always an issue, landlords would ask tenants for their financials. Well, it's really changed. And for the first time ever, as representatives of tenants, we're having to ask landlords to see their books, to understand their financials, to understand the debt structure that's underlying their commercial properties. And that's a discussion we've never had before last year. And that's pretty much a standard practice now? It is a standard practice now. Okay. Are you thinking that 2010 is going to be the year everyone's talking about commercial property versus residential? You know, residential property uh, is obviously a lot of what got us into this situation, uh, for good or bad. Now, no blame aside, but that's really where we are. Um, you know, commercial real estate is a uh, lagging indicator of about 18 months. So naturally through the cycles, this is usually something that happens. What's different now is we have a lot of new commercial property coming online. Uh, we have about 2 million square feet of office space in the CBD. Uh, it's about a 15% increase. And, uh, and about a million square feet in the suburban areas. And both of those are going to have a, a big impact on, on the year. So you're saying that we have increasing vacancy rates as well as increasingly a large supply coming on. That's exactly right. It's a, it's a you know, you look at the, the, the basics of business and it's supply and demand, and neither story is really favorable if you're a landlord. So probably your prediction for 2010? Uh, we're going to continue to see downward pressure on rents um, and uh, we probably have not hit bottom um, and we're probably going to continue to see this. But uh, overall, you know, one of, the, one of the glimpses is Miami overall has a lot of positive points. We haven't seen a lot of the negatives that we've seen in other markets. What we have here is too much supply and uh, in a historical demand that will take a long time to catch up with that supply that we've just put into the market. How long do you think it'll take? Probably five to seven years. Wow, okay. Thank you so much for those insights. Thank you very much. Appreciate you having me. Sure. That was Jones Lang LaSalle's Rich Shoots. Thanks for watching. For the Miami Herald Business Show, I'm Nyla Voodoo.